hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to another crochet tutorial this time we are doing boho locks so i'm so excited let's go ahead and get into it hey boo so i am using these boho crochet locks from aruki hair y'all they are on amazon so we got some amazon crochet braids for the girls you know you know link in description box so we're gonna go ahead and start by prepping our natural hair it's already washed and blow dry i'm just combing it out to get everything prepped for our braid pattern so if you haven't seen my first crochet braid video go check it out i'm pretty much doing the same braid pattern so i'm just splitting my hair in half and i'm gonna work with these two sections So now we just doing our horizontal rows like we about to do like some French braids, but we gonna do some connects. Okay, so we gonna split that into two using that good old shining jam. And pretty much we're just making individual boxes. Now listen, this whole video is gonna be a lesson learn. Learn from me, I did it so you don't have to deal with tutorial. This was my first time doing locks. Um, this is only my second time doing crochet anyway, but the locks were so different. So right here, y'all see where it's, I, I was braiding this braid real, real cute, neat and tight. I would honestly let it be loose at the root, especially with locks. You can have a more like loose look. I know you want it to be like sleek and everything, but the locks itself are just much thicker. Um, as far as the crochet braid itself, it's much thicker. So you want to have a little more room to work with. Cause I did have an issue with just like fitting it through <laughs> my braid because they were so tight. So yeah, that's something I learned. But, um, as y'all can see, I'm just making those sections and combining each section each box as i go back this one i didn't want what i learned the first time with my crochet braids is that too much hair too much boxes is just not the move like i do not like a bunch of hair on my head and the smaller your boxes is the more braids the more full and thick it's going to be so i just was trying to stick with two and three boxes at the front um just like that so i didn't have a whole lot of braids in my head now something i would definitely do different and when i come back with my next video i'm gonna try it out but i'm gonna zigzag my boxes that way like it's not just straight parts you know what i'm saying and it can just kind of blend better but this is a great technique for like the illusion part crochet braids it has really been working so i'm gonna give it a thumbs up but we're gonna try a little something different next time so y'all make sure to stay tuned for these crochet series because i'm definitely gonna be doing some more this might be a little summer look for sure So now we're going in with those locks and we're going to put that crochet needle going down. This is the, the direction that you want the lock or the braid to lay. That's the direction you're going to put the crochet needle. That's something I learned from the first time for sure. With these locks, I learned that you got to create a bigger hole as far as the loop, the loop that you, you working with. Cause look at this girl when i say this tried my life just trying to loop everything through and like i said you know the locks are thicker so girl it was a it was a learning curve it was a learning curve but take two we're gonna try it again and y'all will see throughout me doing the crochet that i'm gonna like pretty much widen the hole first before i even start like with my finger i just take it in lord this is starting to sound sound a little freaky but <laughs> y'all know we gotta spread the hole okay <laughs> and then it is it was much easier for me to go ahead and loop it through just like that just like that these these locks is cute though what y'all think
pause here, y'all, and let y'all know what was happening. I forgot to braid the damn back of my head, y'all. I was tired, okay? It was, it, girl, I was so over this install, but, yeah, so we're going to take a little pause before we finish the locks and braid the back like I was supposed to. And those are just regular, regular French braids going down just like that. Ain't worried about no ponytail, so if you're trying to get a ponytail, do not follow this method, okay? <laughs> So I just want to get into the back really quick um, and give a few tips for the back. Um, spread them out, baby. Spread them far and wide. Because if you don't want a head full of crochet like me, girl, I even took more of these out. They was real spacey in the back. Like, you could get away with putting like four to five to six depending on how big your head is okay but yeah you don't have to like put these close together spread them out because crochet especially this hair y'all it was a lot and this hair was tangly i'm gonna um give more review on the hair in just a minute but i don't want like a full head of crochet like it, it's real it's pretty it's thick it's full but you don't need that much at all as y'all can see girl she tied it was hurting this was the first set of crochets i'm acting like i done did these a whole lot of times but y'all these crochets was tight and that's why i said i will leave definitely leave some more room at the scalp but that's the look girl that's the look now let's get into this hair a little quick review y'all this hair was tangly i had to go through and brush comb this hair out i had to take some out because it was so tangly i did get a lot of shedding but after you um detangle it is much better and also like twist it at night maybe put like two big twists in it and it, it works out pretty fine yeah y'all that's the look that's it let me know comment down below how y'all feeling this look let me know if it's easy enough for you to follow stay tuned like i said i would definitely be doing some more crochet braids and putting y'all on to some more pre-looped crochet braids so yeah see y'all next time thanks so much for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace